Hello and welcome. I'm Nafe42 and this is uh, episode 6 of 3D Printer Modifications. Okay, in this episode what we'll be doing is we'll be going straight into SketchUp Make 2017, which I have open right here. It's going to be slightly different to the last one. Uh, and what we're just going to do is um, create this head cover that I've been talking about previously. I have not <laughs> put anything down, which I probably should have done first. I probably should have done like maybe a test or something just to make sure it does work. But no, I haven't done that. <laughs> and we'll see how it goes. I have also in front of me the previous head cover, um, which actually goes on top of... Uh, what we have there now uh, and I, I realized actually I can just measure this out if I want to create another a replica of this kind of thing so I might use that as reference when creating a new one so I just measured it out we have at the top and at the sides is about nine centimeters I'm not sure if we want to make it that wide I don't think we want to make it as wide as the other one so let me see what I've written down here. We have 40 millimeters wide. So, okay. <laughs> that doesn't seem very wide at all. 40 millimeters. Wow, that's 40 millimeters. Okay. So that's four centimeters. Uh, we'll have the triple dots over here somewhere. You know, what? I could just do this with lines anyway. So what we do is we go this way on the axis. We'll go 40. Yeah, sure. And we'll go back on the green axis 50 and that will go across to the other green axis on the red axis and there we go that is a 40 by 50 square it didn't look it uh, from what I had just now but it is um, <laughs> that actually does look a bit of a funny uh, size oh, it's set to be 60 deep as well oh, that's going to be interesting Let's see what it says on, on what, how big is the actual one. Um, so from the front to the back, yeah, about sixty would be about fine. Um, okay, so checking about how far it is in, it does seem to be about one and a half centimeters, which is about what I actually put on the other document. So this is just this is just a test, just so you know now. This is not to be used as like some kind of high tech important thing. This is literally just a test. So we want to test it out. We want to we go five mil deep. So that is how deep it's going to be. Um, we will get the eraser tool out and remove this line here. Is there any other lines on here? No. Okay. Cool. So this is the front of it. The front will be obviously facing down. We want to have uh, over on this side. Yeah, over on this side. There's going to be two circles. So we need to have two circles. We go circle tool. Now, ah, uh, okay. What we could do here to help with that oh, is this one. Uh, we'll move in by 15 millimeters. There we go. So that is 15 millimeters in, which is what I believe the first hole is. Or where the left of it is anyway. Um, now from the top. <laughs> uh, this is going to be interesting to, uh, to do. 30. Oh man, that's awkward. Um, Say 35 from the top. It's really hard to tell um, based on this one, to be fair. But down we go 35. There we go. Wow, that's that is pretty low actually. Um, well, we're saying that we did want to have this higher than in the previous one, so maybe that's a good thing. That is probably a good thing. Um, so the circle was actually not on that line; it was ending here. And the circle is five millimeters in size. So from here to here, we go five, five millimeters that is. 
uh, and then we'll create a circle that can go in the middle. <laughs> and that was pretty spot on. <laughs> oh dear, this is, I've, I've done this like completely wrong. 2.5, there we go, that's the middle. And then we'll go up by 2.5 and there we go. That is the center piece. That is Air the Capitan, there we go. <laughs> that's a nice little circle we got there. And I think that's the proper way and how you're supposed to do this, to be honest. Um, that, that is the way that it should be done. And that's how you get a decent circle. Um, oh, jeez. Okay, so yeah, from here, that circle is actually the inner circle, I think. Let me just double check it on here. Yes. So the outer circle is actually... Oh God, it's only one mil thick on here. How thick did I make that? So we'll go six, which will be three. There we go. Um, how deep is that? That's five mil deep. Oh man, this is going to be pretty deep. Okay. Um, actually, that's cool. What we could do is we could bring this down by, say, three. Yeah, we'll do it by three. But what I'm going to do first is actually create the other two. On this platform and then with that we can do this and it will look a lot better um, because they will be in the same line in the same depth and all that kind of stuff so that look pretty cool I think um, so we could probably just grab this um, and how far over was it uh, it was oh, there was one which was 10 mils this way oh let me get the move tool this way 10 I'm gonna do this way again, another 10. Yeah, that's good. Now it thinks it's a, <laughs> I, I seem to think that this one is about 35 mils up. So we'll grab this one and we'll move it 35 mils up. Let's see, let's we'll just see how this, oh, I didn't wanna do that. Ah, oh, damn, okay, uh, yeah, I'll grab this one. We'll go up, where is it? by 35 and that is out of here okay it can't be that high then surely um, if it's 35 from center to center then we'll say 30 oh, man I'm, I'm just proper guessing here 25 there we go let's see if that works that does look kind of right to be honest but who knows? Um, <laughs> oh dear. Um, so yeah, this whole thing is what, like five deep? Was it five deep? Yeah, five deep. So what we'll do is we'll go to the push pull tool and then we'll go to select. I want to select this one, this one, and this one. And what we'll do is we'll just move them all. Oh, that didn't work, whatever. Well, fine, we'll do it this way. Move it down by four, four, and four. And then we can just kind of, mm, we can lower this as well. Yeah, we can lower this by three. So this is actually two mils thick. And now it's just kind of like that. It looks good, right? I think it looks good. It's just a big flat bit of plastic with three holes in it. Hopefully the hole is in the right place. Uh, I will need to go back and check that at some point but because I don't fully know to be honest um, if it was the center maybe uh, I don't know. it shouldn't be too hard to move in the future if I do need to move it I can just do the same as what I did previously uh, and recopy areas over blah 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 yeah yeah done um, so <clears throat> on the left we wanted to create a flap of plastic that went up the side of the print head um, and we can do that and what I, I will actually try and do that now so we want to go in say uh, that's 2.5 how deep is this whole thing this is 2 now isn't it yeah that's 2 ok so we want to go in by 2 there we go nice and done nicely done um, then we get the pencil tool and we go from here to here And now we have this whole part sectioned off here. And we wanted to move this up by 60 millimeters. So there we go. <laughs> now, 
Now, I do not know how that is going to print. It should print. I mean, it should be pretty good, to be honest. It's not really that uh, intense of a design, but because it's quite thin and all this kind of stuff, it might not print very well. I don't know. So what I'm going to do is I'll print this off as a test now. I'll show you the time lapse of that. And now we'll get around to fin it, but that'll be the next episode. So don't forget to comment and subscribe. Let me know anything. Follow me on Twitter. That's at Nathan42. And thanks for watching.